Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could go through my makeup collection and particularly today I'm going to go through my blush collection, my creams and my powders and I'm also going to include my blushes that are in face palettes as well. So if that sounds good to you then just keep on watching. Okay. So this is everything that I have. I have two of these little like skinny containers full and then I have three little face palettes that have blushes in them. So I think what I'm going to do is start off with the face palettes. Okay, we've got three here. There is the NARS Orgasm on the Beach, the Sweet Peach Glow, and then there's this hip dot face palette that I got, the Sun Goddess four shade face palette. Let's go ahead and start with this one. I've literally only used this probably like one time. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. It's got four different shades. And for me, the only shade in here that really I would consider a blush would be this one right here. So I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It's called Sunbeam. And I've used this one time. And I thought also we could just do like swatches of all the blush colors and just compare. It would be interesting for me anyway just to like see the different shades and see what I have a lot of. See what's similar. thought it could be interesting. So uh, there is the first shade uh, swatched out. That is Sunbeam from that Hip Dot palette. Moving along, we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow. I'm sure you guys have all seen this before. This is not new. Mine's definitely been used and I'm really considering doing our project pan this year coming in 2022 and I think I'm going to include this in the project. So I'll go ahead and swatch out this blush. And I have used it recently so I know the formula is still good. It doesn't smell off and it hasn't performed weird. The only thing about that is that I can only really wear this when I'm super fair. And like fair for me is like light medium. So it's hard to pull off those shades. I really probably could have passed on getting this palette, but the hype definitely got me when it released and I got sucked in. Now we have the NARS Orgasm on the Beach Cheek Palette. I love this palette so, so much. Let me go ahead and open it and show you guys the shades. These are the six shades inside. You have two highlighters and four blushes. This one right here up top is my favorite shade. And I think these are all permanent colors in the NARS range. Yes. So it looks like the blushes are Montezuma, Orgasm, Mandali, and Zuma in this palette. So I will go ahead and swatch those out as well. So these are all the swatches now. These are the four from NARS. This one in particular is my favorite. It is probably the most unique to my collection. Okay, now I've got my two little baskets. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and separate them out by creams and powders and we'll go from there. Okay, I've separated into kind of two different piles and I'm really surprised. I didn't realize I had as many cream blushes as I do. 
But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish swatching out powders and then we'll move on to these creams. So I'm going to slide these over. Okay, this first blush is a Laura Geller Baked Blush. It's in Tropic Hues. And really, I feel like these are super slept on. I know that like she was really popular for Gilded Honey, but these baked blushes, they're just beautiful. They give you such a nice flush to your cheek. They don't really emphasize any texture or pores. Not overly. I mean, it's shimmery, so you're going to get some, but it's just a, such a nice natural like glow from within blush. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorites to pull. And then the next one that I'm going to show you guys is a NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow. And this is in Citrine Rose. And that's what she looks like. And this is another one that I only used a couple of times, but I do really like this color. That is such a pretty swatch. And next up, a Milani Baked Blush. This is in Luminoso, a cult favorite in the beauty community. Very pretty. This could almost be a dupe for this one right here from the NARS palette, if you guys can see. Very interesting. The shades are very similar. This one has like a little bit more of like a peachy gold reflect and this one's a little bit more subtle and not as warm. I haven't used this blush in forever. This is one of the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes. This is in doll face. It's just like one of those colors, man. I feel like I have to really like plan out my look to get a use out of this thing. But it's a super unique, a bubblegum pinky purple color. And I didn't have anything in my collection this color, so I figured why not grab it for the off chance. I need something like that for a look. Mm, let's do this e.l.f. one next. So I have this little e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duo in Watermelon. This is probably one of my most used as well. Right up there with that NARS palette. And I'll go ahead and swatch this side first. It's such a nice and neutral pinky color. And you can't beat the price on these. And even this glowy like highlighty side is really nice. I usually just mix the two together. But those, well, can you even see that? Maybe. The swatching might just be more for me than for you guys. But um, you can see here, they're swatched. But usually I mix them together. I figured I'd swatch them separately for you guys. And then I'll do this one next. And this is a Chanel blush. It's the oldest blush in my collection. And it's in the shade Orchid Rose. Oh, and she is cracked. There was a cat hair in there. It was bothering me. But this is what it looks like. It's just a very nude, shimmery pink. I don't know why I don't wear this color more. But it is so pretty. I think half of it is because it's Chanel. And it's so expensive, and I'm just so scared to use it up and not have it anymore. That kind of mindset and mentality is really hard for me to get over. But that is Orchid Rose from Chanel. Very pretty. Brownie, nude, pinky blush. And last but not least for the powders, we have this Nabla Skin, Skin Glazing in the shade Independence. This is another favorite. I use it a lot if you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and I mean here too. And you check out like my product listings, you'll see this listed a lot. Mm, I'll just swatch this one down here. 
I love them so much. I want to get like all of these. This formula is just to die for. It's just so glass skin. Ugh, beautiful. So these are all of the swatches that we have for all of the powder blushes. And now let's move on to the creams, shall we? I'm gonna go ahead and put all my powders back first. So these are all of my cream blushes. I have 10 of them here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on this arm and then we can do like a comparison and I can just look at my collection and see what shades that are similar, which is more just for me than you guys. But let's get going into the blushes. I'm gonna start off with this one from Melt. I haven't used it, so I can't tell you what the formula is really like. I've only swatched it. It's called Sandy Cheeks. It's one of their cream blush lights. And I got it because I really didn't have like an orangey blush. And I wanted one and I wanted to try out their formula. And it feels just so smooth when you swatch it. And that's what the color looks like in the pan. I can't remember if I showed you. I have a goldfish brain. And there is the swatch. It's such a pretty color. I really am gonna have to use this soon. And I don't know why I don't. I definitely am one of those people that like that sun-kissed, burnt cheek look. This next one I'm gonna show you guys is a cheek kiss from Milani. And it is in the shade Nude Kiss, which honestly, I didn't think that's what this was called. For some reason, I thought I had the berry one. And this is what it looks like. A pretty nudie pink. And then that's what the swatch is like. And see what I mean? I really thought that that was berry, the berry kiss one, because it's just not super nudie as like a swatch. It is a little bit more on the brighter end. And honestly, for what it's worth, these Milani cream cheeks, they're nice and everything, but the formula's not the best. They don't have the most longevity. And let's do this next. This was a blush in particular I was so excited to get, but so disappointed with. This is the blush stick from Colourpop, and I think it's Rum Runner. Yeah, Rum Runner. And this came out with their Cabana Club collection. And I was like, all right, I'm going to get myself this nude blush stick. And I'm going to love it. And it's going to be great. And you see, it swatches so nice. I mean, it's a sheer formula, and it's definitely more, like, on the emollient side. And this is what it looks like in the stick, if you're wondering. But definitely not my favorite formula. I don't see myself getting any more of these blush sticks from ColourPop, at least not any time in the future. And another thing is like that, uh, like with the Milani ones too, like the color doesn't last super long, and it's so sticky. Like there's no dry down. Definitely not a fave. Let's do these Elf ones. So I have this one and. We'll trying to find the color name because I know it is on here. I just have to find it. They hide these damn things. Bora Bora. Okay, so this is the e.l.f. Petty Blush in Bora Bora. And this is a nice a bubble gum in your face pink, like blue based pink color. The e.l.f. blushes, like the putty blush formula, isn't bad. I definitely think that it could be improved, but for the cheap price that you're paying, I feel like you probably are getting your money's worth and then some. They have a better longevity, in my opinion. 
then uh, sorry I was interrupted my husband called me I had to answer but as I was saying the elf formula is really good yeah moving forward this is another elf putty blush this one is in the shade Turks and Caicos I really do like this one I wish that I had picked up Bali I think that I might have to the next time I go to Ulta or place an order online might have to pick that shade up. This is what Turks and Caicos looks like. It's a very nice corally pink. And there's the swatch of that one. And as you can see, like these ones, they're a little bit harder to build up. So there are some inconsistencies in the formulas. And I mean, they're a couple bucks. So whatever, but there you go um let's do this one i've never used this lash i bought this and i still haven't used it it's the milani cheek heat in rose vibrant still has the little sealy thing on it i don't know why i thought that this was like an orange blush and that's why I hadn't used it. I thought that I had gotten like a bright orange one. This is most definitely a nude pink and I'm nuts. I do want to try this formula out and see if it's any good now that I do have it in my collection. So we'll see, I'll have to test it out, but I do like that color. If it's, if it's any good, I might get rid of this and keep this because the colors are similar. There you go. Let's do this merit one. This is in Cheeky. I, I love this thing. It is like the perfect berry, like nude, but wine stain. It's just, it's so pretty. I love this color. There's the swatch right there. It's just a, such a nice flush on my cheeks. It goes so good with my skin tone. I love it. And it is one of my favorite formulas. I was really nervous because Merit itself is like minimalistic, less is more. So I was really expecting not to like the formula of it at all. It was just one of those products that I got on a whim and I was like, oh, okay, let me try this. And I actually really like it. I would definitely try more out from the brand. Okay, so another one that I have never used. This is the Pearlie's Blush Glow BB Cheek Color. What shade is this? Vivid Coral. Oh, I did not squeeze out enough. Okay, well note to self when you go to use this, you're gonna need less is not more. Let's just not even put the top on. Oh, this is interesting. That formula feels very interesting. It's all, it's like so soft and smooth. And it's not sticky. Ooh. Okay. Well, um, I think that is going to be a new favorite. All right, moving right along, I have this e.l.f. blush, which I am going to declutter. It's super old, and it just looks gross inside, guys. I'm looking at it, and it's, like, all chunky and cracked, and it looks like it's probably dried out and separated. I don't even know if they sell these things anymore. So, this is going in the bin. And lastly, this right now is my absolute favorite blush. This is the Milk Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. When I tell you that this is the most perfect nude blush you could ever wish for, I mean it. Like, I will sing this, this thing's praises from the hilltops. Like, if I could only have one blush for, like, the rest of my life I probably would pick this one and 
I didn't think that that was going to be the case, but I have taken pictures in this and I look back and I'm just like, that color is just so pretty and it's so flattering. It just made me look a gorgeous. And I don't know, this I like too, it has like this weird funky scent. It's like this citrusy thing. I don't know, man, but I, I like the smell of it. Is that weird? So these are the swatches we have going on. So it looks like I definitely have a type, right guys? Seems like I like some, uh, <laughs> I definitely like my peachy colors and I definitely like my berries. I've got a couple different red blushes. I really didn't think I had any like ready blushes other than that one in the NARS palette that's right up here. but. Very interesting to see my whole collection swatched out before me and to like really see how many of the same things that I have. Um, so yeah, I definitely need to get some more use out of these things. And I hope this helps you be inspired to go through your collection and pull your stuff out and see what you're using and what you're not using so you too can get use out of your products that you spent your money on. I mean, we spend our money that we work hard for on these products. We need to get our money's worth out of them. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's little video. I am so happy that you've stuck through this with me if you're still here this far. Um, it's definitely been fun. I like just sitting down and going through all my blushes with you guys, watching them out, talking about them. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. So keep your eyes open for future collection videos. I'm going to be doing them bit by bit, going through everything. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Bye.